I am here representing my excitement for the critically acclaimed MMORPG. Have you heard of it? I believe I have. You what try to sell me on yeah. it all the time. Ah, yeah. So we're <laughs> talking about, you know, Final Fantasy fourteen with its latest expansion coming out in about 29 days called Endwalker. I would give you the victory fanfare, but I don't want them to come and get me. So. <laughs> yeah, you just got to And what are you representing here today, Tris? I am here representing the one, the only, the best Animal Crossing New Horizons with their new DLC paid and their new free update coming November 5th. All right. Well, we love all gamers here. Um, I have no idea what an Animal Crossing is, though. I've only used it in jokes. Like, I I would say, like, you look like an Animal Crossing. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) So, but I've always done it without, like, any history or context of the game. So, I'm definitely looking forward to being taught, like, what's happening. But currently, uh, you may have seen the clips of N. Walker coming up. Yes, the trailer is amazing. Um, I won't go into stories about that because it would take literally months to explain what's going on in this game. But uh, with that being said, uh, the reason why I'm excited is uh, we are looking at two new classes coming out with this expansion. We have Reaper, which is a DPS class. You get to fight with a scythe, a whole scythe. I'm a farmer out here slaying demons with a demon. Like, so the idea is that you actually get like a, a void scent or which is like your own demon in other learns. Um, and it can possess your body. Like you do combos where the demon will come out and swipe the enemies like with you. And then like after you do enough combos, you just give permission to the demon to take over your body and smite your enemies. Ooh, so it's like your own personal JoJo stand. Yes. Hey. Yes. <laughs> it's quite nice. Um, but me, ironically, as vicious as I am, I am a healer main. I can I am, see that. I am a healer main. So I benevolent. love to play with life and death. Um, so <laughs> the this expansion, this is actually the uh I want to make sure. So there was Heaven's Ward, then there's Stormblood, Shadows Bringers, and now Embark. So this is the fourth expansion, and this is the second healer that's being added to the game as far as expansion. So the first one came in Heaven's Ward, which was like three expansions ago. Um, and now we are getting our latest healer, which is the Sage. It has like those like Gundam like shooty things that you just saw in the trailer not too long ago um, with the uh, guy in blue. Uh, yep, those things right there. So they're called Nulifs. Um, and the Sage is what we are calling a pretty much a DPS healer. Um, its mm-hmm. orientation is to uh, cast barriers in order to protect the party mostly. It will have like some pure healing abilities as well, but its identity is around mitigation and doing damage and that excites me <laughs> so i can't wait to finally get in and have a new healer to play because it's been so so long uh recently i started actually going on me like i do healers dps and tanks now and i'm like recruiting people into the game um shout out to trisket and charm city champ because we'll be streaming it at some point like their first experiences into a oh my god yeah like, <laughs> and for those who remember michael he's already there <laughs> he's, he's been an Aorzean. Like, he's a whole, you know, light warrior. Oh, I'm excited. Final Fantasy always does a great job with their trailers on trying to sell me on what's new for them. I I know I'm going to wind up playing this, and I know I'm going to wind up liking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean... I don't know what Animal Crossing is, but I just feel like you're getting ready to tell me what it is. And I'm going to be like, you know, they have that in 14. (laughs) um, There's, oh, so I should probably explain some of the new features. One thing they're talking about adding is like this sanctuary island. So it's like this idea is that you get your own little private place to like do whatever you want and like you can collect minions and let them roam inside the little area. This is sounding a lot like Animal Crossing. <laughs> 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 so, sure look, 14 <laughs> is everything. It is life. It is life itself. Okay, there's a gambling hall for people who are addicts. Um, it's called the Golden Saucer. Shout out to Final Fantasy VII. Um, so, like, there are people who literally don't do anything else in the game except waste all of their gill like, so, over there. That was me in practically PSO2 online. Okay. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, to answer the earlier question from mm-hmm. the intro, what both games have in common is actually custom, well, yeah, character customization. They're yeah, really- it's mm-hmm. the glamorous. It's- yeah, and I know in Final Fantasy fourteen online, and matter of fact, all of their uh, online games, mm-hmm. uh, character customization is a really big thing. Um, yes. Because those yes. clothes look amazing. I won't lie. Those clothes look absolutely amazing. I'm glad you say it's funny. I was never into glamour. That's what we call the system in, in 14. I was never into it. And then I joined the FC uh, of like all black people. And it was like, what's going on, man? Like, they started complimenting me as, like, an insult. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> they started doing that. And then, like, someone just took me under their wing and it was like, look, you won't become a better player until you dress better. Because the idea <laughs> is that if you dress better, then you want to make sure that your character is never on the ground. <laughs> and we're like, you want to see them up and moving at all times because you just look that fresh. Like, did you just get my cloak dirty? <laughs> <laughs> And it worked. <laughs> I cleared the rage. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, but as far as Animal Crossing news goes, I know all of the huge Animal Crossing fans and even the casual players have heard that as of November 5th, we are getting our last major update for, yes, Animal Crossing New Horizons update 2.0. And with this update, it looks so gorgeous. Again, it is available on November the 5th. I'm so excited. We're getting new characters like, wait for it, Brewster, Harriet, or some people affectionately call her Shampoodle. Uh, We are getting a whole expansion into Harv's. Look, there it is. We're going to go see Brewster. (laughs) You don't understand, like, the hype for Brewster was, like, amazing. Everybody's like, how come we don't have Brewster? And here he is. And with Brewster, we're also getting the gyroids. We're getting a whole expansion for Harv's Island. Uh, basically, a mini shopping mall where you can see uh, Harriet uh, and her husband. I don't remember his names. But Katrina, the fortune teller, we can see uh, basically, everybody who comes to your island and Isabel gets a day off just to go get a cup of coffee. I'm so excited. They get to come out of resident services. It's so exciting. Um, they're adding new features, basically, like you can dig up the gyroids like you used to. Uh, you can now put wall partitions into your home. So no more having bookcases look like wall devices. <laughs> But again, this update is absolutely free and they're basically taking the whole kitchen and the sink and throwing it in. I'm just so excited. And again, guys, we're getting all the characters like that's Captain. Uh, so Was that Saber... Sonic? I just feel like I saw Sonic. <laughs> is that Sonic. Incidentally, do you see, with that uh, guy right there, his new hairstyle, that's one of the newer hairstyles that just came out and we're getting new ones in the update as well. I feel like this is the first game that has done black now, characters I say, hairstyles I was very about to good say, this is this is probably the one area that 14 is lacking <laughs> <laughs> the one area to this cool rules and five things in 14. <laughs> it is you know square enix all they do is that big afro right <laughs> uh, there is one race but it's gender specific it's it's female humans that can have locks like mm. long flowing locks oh, that's nice. but if you're a male no um, I'm sorry, there is, you can get like a version of it, but it's like very short and frizzy, like it, it doesn't look good. Well, <laughs> how would you hide your chocobo if you had that? How, you gotta have a bro. <laughs> <laughs> I hate sad. <laughs> <laughs> but real quick, shout out to our chat. Uh, Hygabi actually uh, said that they're concerned. Hygabi has been like one of my number one supporters. I said Hygabi. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. (laughs) Has been one of my number one supporters here. And I'm disappointing them because I haven't played Animal Crossing. So I will say this. It is not fair that I have petitioned and moved forward and made a decree. And it's happening. That (laughs) these people are playing 14. And so I'm willing to try Animal Crossing on stream. Like, you know, if y'all want to see what that's like. I'm never in No other indie games, though, Charm City Champ. I'm I mean, putting, I would, that, putting my foot down. Oh, no, I'm no, never in no the hard indie games. of uh, <laughs> making people play anything that they don't want to play. I will say it is a very good leisure game. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, those who do play it know that... Um, it's a real-time game. That means if it's 4.30 here, it's 4.30 in your game. Huh, okay. Um, 
But just really quickly before we move on, I did want to mention that it does have a paid DLC, which for those who remember is the happy home designer kind of like thing that they're moving to. But instead, it's a full archipelago of islands. My words today. (laughs) But um, yeah, so you get to have uh, brand new characters and they still have the uh, Super Mario crossover going on with Peach, Daisy, Mario, Luigi, and wario costumes um and that is also part of the free update that just passed and those don't cost you any real money um everything just costs you your in-game currency or your bells as we like to call them so the update is out now uh the 2.0 is out november the 5th and the paid dlc is also out november the 5th only fifth only 24.99 and i believe that's that's separate from the Nintendo. Yeah, if you uh, if you get the upgraded Nintendo yeah. Switch online, it'll be included in that. Yeah. So if you're going to get that anyway, mm-hmm. it's thrown in there. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. can't wait for y'all to see my island. I'm excited too. I wonder, <laughs> like, did you decorate? I have a basketball court on my island. I have a in Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> this Animal Crossing is akin to like the softest version of the sims Mm -hmm. just very much cuter and um like you could terraform your island people are speculating that everything that we saw in the trailer isn't even all the bells and whistles that they're throwing in like they're gonna hit us with so much more and i'm excited i know like i said brewster was my number one thing that i was waiting on but when they said you can now make walls and partitions and you don't have to use those janky bookcases to separate everything and i'm like oh yeah they love us all right so real quick just for my curiosity <laughs> mm-hmm. update lands what's the first thing you two are doing i'm gonna go see brewster i'm going to go see brewster so i was watching this with somebody who is does knows nothing about animal crossing and they showed off that you can have permanent ladders yes and i legit was like oh my god we get ladders yes <laughs> they were like, it sounds like such a basic function <laughs> you have a ladder in your toolkit and when you want to go up to another level that doesn't have a ramp mm-hmm. uh you just pull out your ladder and you climb on up but uh it gets tedious yeah okay so now they're like hey you can make permanent ladders and just stick them where you want to and i'm like god bless you nintendo <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, dope. Well, that wraps up our, you know, that segment as far as why we're excited for Final Fantasy XIV, the critically acclaimed MMORPG (laughs) (laughs) expansion in Marker. Coming out in 29 days, I believe it's actually the, uh, that is, if you happen to pre-order the game, it's available in 29 days because that's when the uh, early access begins. Um, For anyone else, I think it's like uh, about 36 days away or something. Okay. Yeah. And our Animal Crossing 2.0 update. November 5th. Yeah. All right. So the reason why Triscuit and I are up here today and not Charm City Champ is, again, because we are the some of the recent additions to our team here at the MAP podcast, as well as the Gaming Lounge in general. You know, come through, check us out, see, you know, what's going on. But the idea is, uh, apparently, to get to know us better. I have no idea what these questions are going to involve. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> I think I'm generally an open book. Um, but this is worrisome in a whole nother way. I'm like, you know, I you saw, get to know me, to, I'm talking. I saw the <laughs> evil hand gesture from yeah. across the room. From our so. producer, no less. Like, <laughs> the producer. Like, what's about to happen here? Words are just coming out of his head. What is happening? <laughs> like, well... Uh, I don't have <laughs> I don't have much control in this segment, so I'm just going to say best of luck to you, Triscuit, uh, <laughs> and uh, good luck to me, Chat. Uh, enjoy the ride. I will say that I am not that great at PC culture, so if you're asking me like really, really, you know, You'll interesting questions about myself, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> So, I mean, so I, I know that I am notorious for. <laughs> For thinking of questions that, you know, stump people or whatever. But this is not the purpose of this episode. The purpose is to let the chat, let everybody know who you guys are, the newest additions to MAP Podcast Live and MAP streaming content. I don't know what we're calling this. Media. All the content stuff. Media. Y'all new to here. Media? What is that new word you just thought of? I like it. Anyway, so, <laughs> so I thought of this segment called 
Defend your fave. I know I'm not following the rundown. I'm going out of order. But I think this is... I think we should do this first because this is in essentially a gaming channel, right? So gaming mm-hmm. comes first. And in this one, so I had you guys a couple of weeks ago shoot me your top five games of all time. Oh. Yeah. I that don't was remember whole... what was on my list. <laughs> so I got it right here. Wow. So this was yeah. a... Was, was it honest? <laughs> So both of you have like, I don't want to say weird, but like four of the games make sense. And then you have, both of you have this fifth game that's like, it sticks out. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it is for so me. So I want y'all to like, this on Defend Your Fade, I want y'all to really explain to me like, why did this game make it on your list? Like, oh, okay. Let's start with Duke. Oh, man. So. On your on your list, you have God of War 2018, yes. which makes perfect sense. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy VII Remake slash 14. Yeah. Yeah, I I couldn't stick to the five. <laughs> oh my god. I like RPGs, man. Uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy X again. Yes. Makes sense. Yes. And uh, Xenogears, Gears uh-huh. makes sense. Then you have Parasite Eve. Oh, you think that's a curious choice? I just think I just think <laughs> I, if, if I had no idea who you were. Mm-hmm. And I seen this list, and all these JRPGs, God of War, which was objectively maybe the game of the year that year, uh-huh. and then Parasite Eve. You got to help me, like where? Okay, I see yeah. it. Like it, you have like a cohesive structure, yeah. and then it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got to be dynamic, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, what do you want to like? Do I just go in and say why, or like, is there a question? So let's let's go back. Let's travel okay. back in time. To, okay. what was it like 2003 2002 i can't remember when ps1 era was <laughs> i can't either so don't right. give me the laugh <laughs> like, no, young, yet. before you were a duke of games you were a okay. prince of games yes. <laughs> yes. and you loaded up parasite eve like what yes. was that? so anyone who who remembers this game if you first put it in like you start off like at that you know start screen and it has like this cut scenes of new york and it's like real new york like you see like you know carnegie hall and all that stuff um and there's some ominous things going on the music is great and like there's like some grotesque creatures whatever else but anyways that cut scene ends and then you start off like in this car and you name this white woman named Aya Bree, but you can change her first name. Her last name will always be Bree or Bria, however you pronounce it. Um, and she's dressed in like this formal gown. And like apparently she was on a date to Carnegie Hall and you walk in and all of a sudden an opera starts, like a whole actual play, opera play or whatever starts. Who is she going on a date with at Carnegie Hall? I don't know. It was, you know, a weird oh. time, and it's definitely not my type. <laughs> but um, but uh, they go there, and, like, a play begins, and, like, the main actress who's up on stage, her name you later find out is Melissa Pierce or Pierce or something, and she's dressed in, like, this red gown or something, and then all of a sudden, she begins to sing her song because it's her time to play. But while she's singing, somehow, some way, magically, like, the vocals of the song is still going going on but she stops and like there's like this piercing look at your main character I agree right and it's like this interesting sound effect that occurs it's real ominous and then afterwards people just start burning up and like dying like Jeez. all around you like on the on the play on the stage as well as like in the audience like it's like this whole burning since it's it's crazy um, and all of that to say the story is wild like um between uh these uh characters and so one thing that i will say that i've always appreciated and mind you this is an rpg um through and through it just has more of an action element as far as the combat one thing that i've always appreciated about games is when they have interesting villains right it's never like i'm a bad guy just because i'm a bad guy type thing and parasite eve really really sold that uh to me and like it was it was like this interesting blend of like fiction as well as real life science like i learned so much so many things about the human cell because of this game um it's a really really big focus it's probably a spoiler but if you haven't played and you don't know what it is all this time do not play the sequels (laughs) do not play the sequels the sequels do not exist 
Okay, I don't even know what you're talking about, but Price ID. Um, Say the same thing about Jurassic Park. <laughs> like, what's the equal? On the other hand, um, yeah, it, it's this interesting blend of fiction as well as real life science. And like, so you you were really learning things at the same time and the characters are just great. It's really, really great. And the story is concise, but deep. That's good. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I like Parasite Eve. <laughs> I don't say like I want to remake really bad. And the soundtrack, the soundtrack, it gets me through. I love, I love the soundtrack. I'm like, a sucker yeah. for good video game music. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah, I was about to say I, I can. So I've never like actually played it, but I've seen a lot of footage of it. Mm-hmm. And that opening, like there was something about the PS One era opening AMVs yeah, yeah. They were always the per- they're still oh, yeah. superior to many of the things that we see today like even God of War 2018 opening like he was just cutting down a tree like mm-hmm. nothing was happening <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> so this game came out in North America September 9th 1998 yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. back when it was called Square Soft <laughs> yes, oh yeah. Was. yeah the days of our youth and it had <laughs> two discs in it like and back then, it was like if a game had more than one disc, it was like almost guaranteed to be good. Oh, yep. this is fire! Like, <laughs> yeah. like mom, don't wait up. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> I'm calling out of school. <laughs> <laughs> like you was up all night playing that video game. Yes, ma. <laughs> yes, yes ma. <laughs> if I had more time, I probably would have added like Tomb Raider, like the old school Tomb Raiders, but. They really messed up that series for me. <laughs> so you want to know something funny? What? Like when I was young and that game first came out, um, is the part where you go into a cave and you see like this is not specific at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, for a uh, Tomb Raider. <laughs> not specific at all. The first one. The entire game is caves. <laughs> like, uh, like the I first cave you. that you go into, mm-hmm. and it's like wolf prints on the yes. floor, mm-hmm. and. Because I was young and I couldn't see the wolves, but I could hear them, it freaked me out. Oh, wow. And for a while, I did not touch that game. Did you ever make it to the T-Rex? Nope. Oh, the T-Rex was Not till I was older and went years. back and played the game. I don't even remember if I made it to the T-Rex that then. Yeah, the T-Rex was know. literally the stuff of nightmares when you first get to that part in the game. Because so you're not expecting it. Like, you're, like, shooting, like, you know, real-life creatures and, like, human, you know, robbers. Yeah, and, and I'm like, like uh-uh, that. no, I'm not doing and this. Then, uh, I took that T-Rex. out and I put in a uh, Spice Girls Dance World. <laughs> <laughs> Available on PlayStation. PlayStation, because that's what it was called. <laughs> so... Speaking of, I wish Spice, Spice Girls Dance World was on your list because that would have been a very Thank interesting you. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, your list, Triska Packet, very interesting again. Oh, God. So, you got Animal Crossing New Horizon mm-hmm. based on the 15 minutes we just spent. <laughs> Not a surprise. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mario Odyssey, excellent game. It's a great game. It is a great game. Near Automata, again, great game. Game of the year. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Monster Hunter Worlds. I uh-huh. may not even get into that, but I, I know it's a, a great game. A I have it for game. free. I don't play it, though. I don't have friends for it. I don't know. Yeah, I know you... Yeah, you definitely have to, like, approach yeah. that with a clan. Yeah, it's... Okay, I, I haven't that. quite... It has so many, like, weapon types, and I haven't found the one that I like mm-hmm. yet. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> have you tried them all? A good, like, 50% of them. Okay, yeah. try the other 50%. I promise you. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, hi Gabby for wait a minute. Who claimed make it spicy? We cannot make it spicy at the shop. At least not yet. I don't have the spicy alarm here. Uh, make it spicy. It's, okay. I, it's, I don't know what you want. <laughs> We're not sure. I said Duke wanted. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So then we get to number five. Don't starve together. Yes. So I I have heard of Don't Starve. <laughs> I have heard of it. And as an indie, a big defender of indie games, again. Oh, God. <laughs> but I have never played it. So I'm embarrassed for you. It no! <laughs> it's a great game. It is a great game to mm-hmm. play. It's a great game for veteran players to play with their newbie friends. Hmm. And it's, it's, a, it's a great uh, leisure game, even if you play by yourself as well. Mm-hmm. Um, 
is by Clay Entertainment. And the premise of the game, uh, I know they made a standalone, which is Don't Starve, and that's just a single player version. But uh, the premise of the game is to you and your friends is to not starve together, but that is the least of your problems. Mm -hmm. uh, there is so many ways to die even in the first night of playing the game. <laughs> um, it's a game that has a day-night cycle. Uh -huh. uh, you constantly have to make sure, one, you're not starving. Mm -hmm. Two, you're not killed in the darkness. And then three, there are regional bosses. And then there are seasonal bosses. And then one I think I can spoil for people because most people don't even make it mm -hmm. past this boss is the uh, winter boss or the eye clops or deer clops is what people call him he's only got one eye mm -hmm. um and he comes on the night of the 30th day in the middle of the night i think around 3 a.m and this man just shoots ice from wherever and stomps on any everything and it's just so much fun to see all your hard work and dedication you built a farm fun yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to be clear again? Fun. <laughs> okay, so take Stardew Valley, uh -huh. but just like sprinkle monsters in everywhere. Okay. So it's like it's like you get that nice calm before the perpetual storm. <laughs> like, okay. I love it, and I love that my friends are like screaming and running around with their like chickens with their heads cut off, not knowing how to defeat this monster so everybody's fire involved? Is, yeah okay, like you can just like so like we had a fire in our last playthrough and um he stomped on it so there was no more fire wait isn't he made of ice <laughs> no he's a giant deer with one eye so he oh, just shoots ice from his hands but it's a i love it because it's absolute chaos mm -hmm. and i love games that there is no high stake involved. And even if you lose everything, you could get it back easily. And it, it's just so much fun to play with people. I love it. Okay. All I right. can dig it. Well, I will say that some of the mechanics that you were explaining in the beginning remind me of another game. So Charm, there is an indie, another indie game Ooh. that I play. Um, I can't say like I like it a lot, a lot, because it's stressful as fuck. But <laughs> this war of mine. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I've heard of it. I don't believe I get got to see any footage of it yet. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's 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 dark. Yeah, <laughs> like, it is dark. Like, it's a dark game. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, this is more of mine. I've I've played that, and uh, I really I don't even know like how to explain that genre of game, but uh, it seems like meta something. I don't know. I'm trying to remember back. I can't remember if you only control one person or if you control everybody you in the control house. Everyone That's in what the I house. thought. Yeah. So it really is like a, a, a sign of like people management mm -hmm. thing where you have to like, it's kind of like you're in this war and torn country mm -hmm. and you have to keep everybody happy in this like shelter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. They're, they're really like hunkering down trying to wait for the war to be over but like you have to manage everybody's stats and like emotions and things like that. Right. It almost reminds me of, um, remember when uh, Fallout came out and they released a little mobile game? Yes. Of the shelter? Fallout Shelter, yeah. yeah. Mm. It reminds me, you got to keep everybody happy in there. There's a lot like that. that, yeah. Oh, okay. It's so annoying when people ask me, like, what are your favorite games? And it's like, I don't have time to mention things. <laughs> like that. It's like, I don't, like, you know, Mass Effect is on the list and, like, so many different, you know, experiences in, in, in ways. So anyways, let's go. Yeah, that sounds like me because, like, Psychonauts is on my list and yeah. then, like, Nobody knows what Psychonauts is. So I always oh, have to... do now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, people outside of this room. So I always have to then go, all right, now I have to explain Psychonauts. How much time do you have? <laughs> like, nobody, yeah. nobody wants to do that. But, yeah, man, that was, that was very educational. I think the chat has learned a lot about you, too. Yes. Now let's learn some more with Mary Hump Kill. Because I don't want to say, I, that, I don't know if the F word is okay for me to say on stream. That's the make it screw. spicy thing. <laughs> screw kill. Kill. Yes. All right. So I'm going to name three things, not necessarily people. Yes. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> <of> the <game. laughs> and you have to pick which one you want to marry, which I guess which one you like the most, mm -hmm. which one you want to screw, which is which one I guess you just don't want to commit to. Like <laughs> And which one? You got it, like a corkscrew sound? That would be real. <laughs> Look, we don't have we don't have a lot of buttons. <laughs> and yeah, you I guess you know where that last one is. So uh, let's start with Duke. 
I'm Mary, just going to say my audio cut out in my right ear. Yeah, I'm, I'm still seeing levels, so let's okay. keep going with it. Uh, Mary Screw Kill. Okay. Yes. Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy XIV. You's a dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you just awful. Like, you playing trash. Um, Mary Screw Kill. All right, so I will marry. It's actually not that difficult, but it's it's just horrible to put these in this. Damn it! All right, Mary, Final Fantasy X. Um, that game changed my life. Like it was the very first game that actually made me cry. Like I never had a, a, a emotional reaction to a video game like that before. Um, so Final Fantasy X, Mary. Um, screw. It's fourteen. Um, because I can always just keep coming back to it. Like, I take breaks. I take breaks from 14, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but how does 14 feel about that? They want I, commitment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what I love about this game is, like, the producer, like, I uh, forget his name so so uh, so much. I'm, I'm like, we're bad at this. Um, but he <laughs> talks about how he really, really wants his subscribers to take breaks and, like, play other games and how healthy that is. And blah, blah, blah. Oh, so, that's nice. Um, yes. S screw that. <laughs> um, and He's seven, like, don't worry, and you'll be back. This is weird to say kill seven. This is um, yeah. You gotta explain that one. So way. the interesting thing <laughs> is, is that I actually didn't play the original Final Fantasy seven until like it's twenty twenty one now, right? Mm -hmm. I probably didn't play it until like twenty seventeen. Is the first time that I played Final Fantasy VII. Of course, I knew about the game. Of course, I played Kingdom Hearts before that, so I had even more interactions with the game um, before then. Um, so it's more of a recent experience that I can appreciate, uh, but I don't have like the nostalgic feeling that a lot of other players had when it comes to Final Fantasy VII. Um, however, I will say again, Final Fantasy VII Remake was one of my favorite experiences on last generation consoles. Like I felt like that was a really tight experience. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I mean I don't like that you killed Final Fantasy Seven, but I mean what would I you do like <laughs> I, I don't I don't know enough about <laughs> two of those three to make that you don't know enough call. about ten? I don't know enough about ten. So See, Triscuit streams ten, so she <laughs> But you don't know enough about Tim. So growing Who is this up, guy? what the fuck? Growing Ooh. up, <laughs> <laughs> growing up, I had to like, I had to pick consoles. Like I, I didn't have. And we you chose a poorly, didn't you? House. So you chose Xbox. I did choose Xbox. You trash. So, he was probably one of those little kids like yelling in the mic, like I want to go. Awful. God awful. Okay. You made juice. Yeah, that, makes that was me. <laughs> but did you at least get Jade Empires? Yes. No, no, no. I was a big Bioware fan. So, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, if you didn't get Jade Empires, yeah. then you really fucked up the game. Like, yeah, I was the whole Republic, Republic, all of that. that. Yep. Okay. Just get pack it. I got secondhand embarrassment for you. I'm like, I mean, eventually, like, this is really embarrassing. Like, I are you not embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> I had to go to a friend's house and play PlayStation games and like. My friends weren't like not like hardcore gamers, so they just were getting like Madden and NBA Live, and you know. I'm so happy. I can't fault you on that. You're not your friends anymore, right? I used to have to do that with San Andreas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like once the news broke about San Andreas, my mom was like, "Uh-uh, you're not getting that." Oh, <laughs> So this is not supposed to be about me, but like I didn't have a GameCube, and Resident Evil Four was initially like a GameCube exclusive, so I had to yes. rent. Resident Evil 4 for my friend's GameCube and <laughs> go over his house to play it. Yikes. Yeah, man. I have no shame. So, Trisk get pack it. Oh, I'm scared. Be that. Marry, screw, kill. Marshall from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Isabel it's getting specific. from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Do you need Raymond. Your hand? From Animal Crossing. <laughs> Somebody's got to die. What? Like, You're doing this? <laughs> oh, I hope no. you, do you know, all, well, you obviously know Isabel. And everybody knows Raymond. Oh my that, God. No pun intended. No, because one, first of all, I don't want your chat to be like, 
outside of the next podcast with like pitchforks and like <laughs> torches talking about like where is she because of my answers. Oh my god. Um <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I'm going to uh, put in the chat pictures of these so um, so you can know. So I have to marry Isabel because she she deserves it. She's the best girl. She's never done anything wrong. She come on fluidity. Yeah, she <laughs> <laughs> she's the she's the best. She's the best girl. I love her. I love her. She's she's so nice. And even when she has to be tough, it's tough love. I love Isabel. So I'm gonna marry her. Uh, I'm definitely screwing Raymond because he looks like a good time. <laughs> My man got the glasses with the uh, I forgot what you call that condition, but uh, I'm glad I'm not yeah, a monochroma. I, I think it is horrified. Like, <laughs> yeah. it was just like these short cartoon characters. Yeah, like, listen. Hey, look, you. Yeah, you know Raymond is it. He, you had to oh be my there. gosh, and I guess. I guess I'm going to jail for killing Marshall. I'm so no. sorry. <laughs> Marshall's a good boy too. <sighs> Why you do this to me? <laughs> I was like, what are the hardest three? Look I had to how, think. Look at how. Oh, Raymond's hot. <laughs> Raymond. Yeah. I I love like someone that has a little attitude. So to be so <laughs> in Animal Crossing, it's very hard to choose. You you can't choose what villagers you get, right? It's just oh. random. Mm. Well, okay, there are ways to cheat the system, <laughs> but you play right. <laughs> You're not supposed to choose. Uh -huh. There's like this whole all right. So when I don't want to go off topic, but there's an Animal Crossing like dark web where you can go and like pay people for the villagers that you want is yes. literally slave labor. It is. You literally can like pay people like either real money. Or Animal Crossing bells for uh -huh. a person that you want on your island. I, I didn't get into the exciting stuff in fourteen because I thought we were being PG. <laughs> <laughs> I don't condone of the Animal Crossing dark web. I I just organically let my villagers come and go. But I was I thought she was going to talk about the hierarchy of but the yeah that's what I was really getting. cute characters yeah. And then people say, like, they'd be like, oh, this character looks like butt. And yeah. I'm like, oh, no, how, they're all so cute. Like, how could you say that? And they're like, no, these characters are god tier. These characters, potatoes. Yep. But that's what I was getting at. Like, Raymond and Marshall are, like, top tier. Like, people okay. want them on their island. Isabel's on everybody's island. Oh, wait. Actually... Oh, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. The person that I liked apparently was Marshall, not... I don't want oh, to kill her, Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. You're killing Marshall? I don't want to. I like the little evil Look how looking. sexy Raymond is, though. Raymond <laughs> looks... He's got the two different eye colors, and oh he looks God. boring. No! <laughs> I will say I like cats. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, and um, and Isabel, again, helps run the island. She's on, been on all the Animal Cross, and she's on Smash. It's Her, was, what, is it like a amiibo or something? No, no, she she's works in Red. Yeah, she's uh -huh. a Smash Fighter. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually ca it's canon at her. <laughs> you can smash her down. <laughs> That's why I'm putting her. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's actually canon that well well technically now that her and Doom guy, the guy from Doom, mm -hmm. like they got a thing going on because it started because Doom Eternal mm -hmm. and Animal Crossing New Horizon came out on literally the, the, the same exact same day. day. Yep. So people had to choose. So it was like a bunch of fan art going around <laughs> of Doom, Doom Slayer guy and Isabel. There's fan videos and music videos and everything. Yes. And they're so cute and a fun watch to look at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. But now they're both in Smash because you can have Doom guy as a uh, me costume. I just want to add, I mean, it's so it's not like super public info, but if you are into that thing, there is role play sex workers in Final Fantasy XIV. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> that you can book a Hi, Gabby, room. you redeemed the spicy <laughs> thing earlier. That's your spicy thing. You That's did. it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, next. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's do <laughs> <laughs> let's do this or that. This or that. This or that. It's kind of like uh, Mary, screw kill, but it's a little less dramatic, I guess. 
Okay. Just picking between one thing or the other thing. Okay. Oof. Woo. Less trauma. You know what's harder? You had to pick characters. <laughs> <laughs> Waffles or pancakes? Damn. <laughs> this is interesting. So I feel like I'm supposed to say waffles because that's like the most popular answer. Um, but I don't have a lot of experience with waffles beyond like chicken and waffles. I yep. grew up with pancakes quite a lot growing up. I'm, I'm actually am going to say waffles though, just because like chicken and waffles is like such an amazing breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, <laughs> I, I really, 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 really like you. Have never had chicken and waffles? No. We're going to Miss Sherry's. Oh Just yeah, we here. got to. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> like, we're going there. It's happening. Miss Sherry's waffles, so... waffles in Hamden. In Hamden. Waffles in Hamden. I never heard of okay. chicken and waffles. Look, we look as a team. Like we <laughs> gotta <laughs> start doing this. Like we're gonna be hanging out exclusive. Yeah. Okay. Milky, milky quartz. You're invited. Hi, Gabby. In the chat said waffles as well. Okay. It's just it's so much. Waffles has like the pockets made for syrup. Yeah, like I mean, it is like the catch-all. Thing. Yeah, um, it holds its form. I also enjoy like it can be crispy around the edges. Yeah, like, around that form thing. French right? toast. So, hmm? French toast. Oh, see now you. Yeah, I'm not. Nah, yeah, I can't do the French toast too much. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, that's a that's a kill situation for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, waffles. Right answer. <laughs> yeah, like red velvet. Leisure waffles. suit Larry. Leisure suit. <laughs> oh no. We're totally gonna to stream that one day. I'm gonna oh find God. <laughs> I'm really holding up for that Xbox 360 version. I don't know how we're gonna play it. <laughs> we got Xbox 360s here, don't we? I gotta find a copy of the game though. Okay. All right. I think when you do find a copy of the game, it should be an after dark stream. Yeah. Hey. It's so like <laughs> The Leisure Suit Larrys are normally crass, but that one is very crass. <laughs> Speaking of which, y'all, we played Dead by Daylight yesterday. And if you want to see me scream like a little person <laughs> with a high octave uh, voice frequency, you can go do that. Like, it's a movie <laughs> podcast. We, we only played three games. Oh, then. my God. But <laughs> it was definitely interesting. And well, we won all three. Four, we did. because y'all four? dropped out of one. And, yeah. I, and I carried y'all to victory. <laughs> I whisked y'all away. To and we were stuck in an internal loading screen, but thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, by the way, I looked that up, and apparently after that last update, everybody has been dealing with those long-ass load screens. Oh, so it's not, okay. it wasn't Everybody's us. probably playing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trish, get back it. Yes. This or that, cake or pie? Gosh, Choose why y'all right. doing this to me? Choose correctly. Don't cry the, again. Your child. <laughs> Choose correctly. The other Choose one correctly. dies. Choose correctly. You may want to go to wide view for this one. Choose correctly. I'm going to say pie because in my lifetime, I have had people mess up cakes, mm -hmm. but I have never had a family member do me dirty with pie. That's a weird reason, but I'm like, you know, yeah, but yes, pie, yeah. pie is best. Yes, pie. Oof, love me some pie. If ever there's a time you have to take a cake off the table and like hide it in the closet so no one else can taste it, then that means that <laughs> cake shouldn't have been there in the first place. Yeah. So yeah, um, but nobody in my family has ever done me dirty on a pie. This like question, ever. this question, do I have permission to go on a brief tangent? Yeah. Why is it that when it comes to sweets like cakes and pie, they put it in the loudest fucking containers? <laughs> <laughs> I can't sweet shit. Like I'm like I recently saw that meme um come through my Discord. Someone put the new Squid Game is to <laughs> lift oh. the cake container without making a noise, and the guy's face is just like what? <laughs> <laughs> and it's so annoying, like. It has to be on purpose. Like Yeah, there's there's no quiet there, way. There's it's ridiculous. Like I'm trying to sneak late at night when I'm not supposed to have anything and it really wakes up all the creatures in the in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's just, ridiculous. Just like do, 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 built in alarm. <laughs> but anyway, I just need to vent that. It's upsetting. You know what's hmm. upsetting? That uh there's cake at home. And because it's in the refrigerator, that means it's probably dried out. The cake is a lie. It, it is. <laughs> the cake is a 
it's probably dried out. So like I see. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back GLaDOS. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. All right. Duke. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hmm. I wish I perfected Stewie's voice. I really like Stewie's voice. Let's do... Vacation or staycation? Mm-hmm. Which one? I have no idea what the... This is, a, a staycation <laughs> is like you take time off of work, but you don't go anywhere. Uh huh. Whereas a vacation is we're going to Maui. Get to go yes. right. <laughs> I do staycations all the time. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, so you're just saying like between those two? Yes, we're still doing this. Oh, I prefer sorry. vacation, but I'm cold. <laughs> I feel it you. Is. I, I feel that. So, yes, um, in an optimal world, <laughs> it would be vacations. In reality, it is a staycation. So, that's, that's if you'd like to pay for Duke to go on vacation, call this number. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm out here, reckless. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm actually going on vacation in November. I'm doing a staycation when 14 and Walker comes out. Like, I actually put my time in already. <laughs> like, is like, so where are you going? To the world of Final Fantasy. <laughs> like, so is that like in, like, I don't know, like Connecticut? No. no. <laughs> it's the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why did that become popular? It wasn't good. The first movie, the no. first... The first movie was beautifully shot. Okay. Um, being a movie buff, like I like stuff like that. So the first movie was beautifully shot. There mm-hmm. was some story there. Um, the sequels <laughs> didn't do it for me. Mm-hmm. You're right. But the first movie I did like. Okay. I'm scared of my question. I'm so scared. Trish, get back. Why your eyes so shifty? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have the power of flight or the power of invinci- invisa- invisibility? Flight. All day. Wow. All day. Yeah. That, that, I guess maybe I'm like an untrustworthy person because that's a harder question for me. Oh, no. Because no. <laughs> I'm invisible now. My senpai doesn't notice me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Notice me, senpai. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would take some model transportation easily. Yeah. Uh, but just see, get up and leave and go away. I can be invisible by leaving. Here's the thing. <laughs> and I've thought about this question so many times. And those specific two, only because I feel like when Congress calls me in for a hearing about why I have this power and what I'm using it for, it would be easy to get off with uh, flight over invisibility. Because invisibility, they're going to make me seem like I'm a bigger risk than I am. Mm-hmm. With flight, I'm be like, listen, I'm heading over to Italy. Um, y'all want me to bring you anything when I get back? No? All right, fine. I'm out of here. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> but if you were invisible and, and they brought you in to the courtroom or whatever, they would, you'd just walk out and nobody would know. Well, I'm going to do that regardless. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, I, so I was really, like, thinking about the scenario, too, when Trisky was saying it. We were like, but, you know, people can't aim. Like, they just be shooting any damn where. Like, it just be my luck. Like, I just shot oh invisible. God. And then I'm bleeding invisible. Like, 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 this, this sounds so awful. Like, like, <laughs> you have to take it, like, the no-fly zones. So, I'm sorry. Baltimore can't fly lower than like a certain amount of feet. You gotta be up there with the planes or you're getting hit by a stray bullet. I'm sorry. Right. And we see, yeah, like you asked this question for two Marylanders. Like <laughs> Baltimore at that. Like we live in Murderland. Like, come on. Like, we wanna go above. And then I guess I was thinking like you got you got to be specific with the invisibility. Like, do my clothes go invisible too, or is it that like, like that wacky yeah. invisibility where I got to take my clothes off? Is my insides invisible? Yeah. Like, you know, all that. Like, You're like, did oh, you see what I had for breakfast? Like, yes like, or no? Goes on the outside of me, is it stay invisible? It's a, it's a lot of you know caveats and things. Yeah. But again, if I'm bleeding invisibly, that sounds like a horrible time. 
<laughs> just a trail of blood, like, like leaking. Be like, what is it? Just feel, it just feel moist. <laughs> That's the word of the day. <laughs> if Duke mm-hmm. of Games, if you could own a Pokemon, mm. would you prioritize owning a cute Pokemon or a powerful Pokemon? No, oh, that's powerful for me. I mean, I need life-changing energy around here. <laughs> Smite my enemies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, I will say I have a deep, deep love, funny enough, an artificial Pokemon for cast form. I have oh, a deep man. love. I don't even I know how to explain it. I, I just like cats form a lot. Like change with the weather. Like feel moody. I'm like, oh, you're so moody. Um, but no, I would absolutely try to go for like Atreus or something. I need a legendary beginning of life Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> in the beginning. In the beginning. There was Paul. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's, I don't know. For me, I think I would go with the cuter Pokemon. With a cute Pokemon. But to be honest, like on the list, and don't don't fight me for this, but mm-hmm. on the my top tier list of cute Pokemon mm-hmm. is Ditto. It's just something you about that slut. pink little like- <laughs> <laughs> They weren't supposed to know. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one use for that. It's not. <laughs> It is not <laughs> only one. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Cham, next question. <laughs> what are you doing? It is a blow up doll. <laughs> they don't turn into Idris Alba now. <laughs> right now. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, Milky Quartz Move actually asked if you could be anywhere right now, where would you be and why? Yes. <laughs> um did you want to go first or i would be actually it's it, it was more like a when than a where i would be on november 5th because that's when the animal cross <laughs> <That's laughs> <a good answer. laughs> i like that one um hmm um i've always wanted to be like probably in like Ghana or something. Oh. Um, it was one of the things I was researching. Like I wanted to go back um, and be there for a little while, but like in one of the more developed areas of Africa, of course, because I do like technology. Um, and Ghana is a really, really beautiful place. Um, so just thinking about that. Um, if not there, I know I couldn't stay at this next place I'm picking, like because the culture would just not be my greatest job after a while, but I still want to see it. Tokyo. I want to see Tokyo. Ooh. Oh, can I change my answer? <laughs> yeah, sure. So before the pandemic hit, I was actually planning my trip to Rome. Like I was planning like my hotel stay, uh-huh. like because specifically I wanted to do the tours um, in Vatican City mm-hmm. and see like the that whole Vatican area for the art tours and just the history tours and stuff like that because I love art and I love history. Um, even if some people go around changing it sometimes. <laughs> well, but um, but yeah, I was planning that, and then um, the pandemic happened, mm-hmm. and I was like, oof. Um, so yeah, so now I have to replan that trip, uh, cause I spent all that saved up trip money, but uh, <laughs> but I'm 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 excited. I that's the place that I really wanted to go. Um, it was just the Vatican and just see the splendor of the buildings and all that kind of stuff. Great questions, Milky. Thank you. Thank you. Add more if you have them. You're still here. Ask me anything. <laughs> I don't know about that. You <laughs> want ditto. How do you even hold ditto? You don't. It makes sense. Need you gloves. You... <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's just that he's so small and squishy looking, and he's just got they, like, this permanent they smile are on his small face. And... It, it has to be the one non binary Pokemon, of course. Right? Listen, it's... I. If you needed Ditto to turn into a tea kettle, just to make, just to pull your kitchen it look together. Yeah. What? What is Ditto? Ditto is an amalgamation of cells that were genetically engineered in a lab. So it is an artificial to... Pokemon too? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's supposed to, uh... it was actually an accident that they wound up making the, Mew Poke Mewtwo Pokemon yeah, from Ditto. What what Mewtwo's from Ditto? I thought it was 
it was an accident. Oof. So not the... <laughs> no wonder why he wanted to destroy all life. He found out what his mother was <laughs> Sephiroth all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Give Mewtwo, like, the Sephiroth hair and a long <laughs> <laughs> Like, keep, like, the three gigantic fingers. <laughs> and then always the alien that fell from, like, just... <laughs> mother. All right. Okay. All right. So let's go to a scenario. Okay. This is really just scenarios. That's all I, that's it. That's what it is. All right. I'm afraid still. This is for both of y'all. Y'all can take turns with this same one. You both have Kirby's ability to eat things and steal its power. You have to eat it. I'm very excited. I was getting very excited because I'm not familiar with the eat word. <laughs> Does it have to be real life things or could it be like... It could be real life or fantasy or video game thing, but just uh, understand you that the, get, you have give to give a blowjob and get abilities for it? I, you, it. <laughs> <laughs> you have, I don't know if it works like that. I think you have to... <laughs> question. You know I mean? Do you have to eat all of it? So, all right, here's the so Kirby eats he no, no, inhales no, no. it. Because I was about to say he inhales it, but then he can spit it out. But no, when he spits it out, he doesn't get the power. He doesn't get the power until he swallows it. Right. right? So, oh my god. <laughs> Duke is just like <laughs> I just Kirby, think, uh, a great role model. For someone's next BJ, just shout out, I have the power. <laughs> <laughs> Should have thought this one through. <laughs> I like it, I like it. All right. So you have to if you what would you choose to eat if you were Kirby to take its power, but just realize that you have to eat and swallow this thing and it will never exist ever again. Are we gonna refer to Damn. DJs as Kirby's from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I like it. I like it. I might. I like it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, um that is No, the... no. You know, because right now they say it's like you that guac guac three thousand. Like I'm gonna give you that Kirby. <laughs> 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 hey, yeah. I love you three thousand. So I'm canceled. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh. It's crazy because my mind instantly went to Wolverine, mm -hmm. but that's a tough eat, man. That's, that's a, yeah. That looks like I'm going to have bug. to fight that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, that's a good question because Wolverine apparently, well, technically is invulnerable. Right? He can't right. not die. So would he die if he were eaten by Kirby? I feel like I would have to take like a Tums or like some type of <laughs> and be like, I'm going to need you to settle down. You are worse than those like spicy hot dogs, man. Come on. Um, mm, I really don't. So I've never thought about anything like this. Yeah, so I this figured. Weird. Yeah, this is weird. Uh, I don't know. Like the thing that's leading me right now, and it's not... <gasps> For quote unquote attractiveness, because I really am into melanin. Uh, mm -hmm. But Sephiroth, like I would, like I want those powers. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you can actually get Kirby Roth. Like there's a whole community for Kirby Roth. Like <laughs> so, I think I'm kind of into that. Have you ever played uh, Crisis Core? I haven't, but I've watched the entire game. So this is a character in Crisis Core. Like, uh, Sephiroth is one of the the three. Uh, yeah, yeah, the three. But mm -hmm. I feel like... Are you about to talk about the pop star Genesis? I feel like Angeal would be better. Ange he had he did nothing. <laughs> he had a big-ass sword and did not swing it. Did Fuck he, Angie. <laughs> anyway, like, like, he, just, he did nothing. For those who have not played Crisis Core, <laughs> go ahead and play it. Play it all the way to the end. You'll love it. <laughs> It, watch it. I, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I would say watch it. I don't know about. It's a good play. Yes, I, for PSP way back in the day, we if, we've evolved. If you played Final <laughs> Fantasy Seven but haven't played Crisis Core, go ahead and play Crisis Core. Yeah. You'll, and then let me know what your thoughts were. I mean, the developers are trying to like distance themselves a little bit from it too, though. No, 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 because they knew that that ending <laughs> was a. <laughs> the ending's a tearjerker. I'm sorry, it is. Oh, yes, that song is crazy. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. What? What are, what are you doing? Come back. Yeah, that end song. Come back. Is, is <laughs> Don't <crazy>. go there. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, so so that. I'm trying to figure out if there's really, like, anything else I would... I don't... 
I, I, don't know. I feel like this is like the power of flight or invisibility question. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kirby Roth. Um, yeah. I would. Hmm. Okay. So for those who know me and know my obsession, I would actually. Uh, Tony Stark. Huh. Because I would get that big brain power mm -hmm. so I could build my own Iron Man suits. And okay. the first one I would build is Star Boost. I love it. Do you so get his beautiful. money? Hmm. Huh? Do you eat him and get his money too? Um, <laughs> because I'm now as smart like as he powerful. is, oh. I can figure out a way to get his money. <laughs> but like, yeah, so uh, I need you to sign this document. Tony left uh, all of his uh, assets to me, including the suits. Thank you very much. Pepper, you will be living in that mansion from now on. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So my final answer, and it's still along the lines of Sephiroth, apparently, but the Dark Phoenix. Oh. Surrender in the flame. <laughs> but yes so you just want to go see this you know i'm into like the cosmic galaxy i was about to like say and, i was know, about to say do you also like get the ability to not control your powers like the dark so it all depends on who's the host yeah right? i guess you're right yeah like, like it all right. depends on who's the host but you're the host doing. Right. I, I would try <laughs> to learn how to control it if i can be as good with it as jean gray i'm fine right she was good uh, eventually <laughs> so like the, so the thing about it is like the phoenix is like super attracted to gene like so like they have like this symbiotic relationship type thing otherwise i could just eat venom you know what i get feel a really long tongue mm, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like you doing that probably wound up working out better than the movie did <laughs> well that's <laughs> <a good> <laughs> respect me i'm much better than that i'm sorry sony i'm sorry <laughs> uh that's that's interesting though oh um i probably and this is my last pick mm -hmm. i probably uh would also do and it's still from that marvel universe i would also do uh gosh what is his name i'm forgetting it i'm forgetting it uh dr strange dormammu oh okay. i really liked him in ultimate marvel vs. capcom 3 Really I would I would do Dormammu, chaotic flame. Yes, <laughs> I just just that whole power of destruction, power of destruction, power of destruction, darkness, energy, and stuff like that. Yeah. I knowing my personality, I probably wouldn't use it, but just to threaten somebody mm -hmm. if I need to, like if that person's like up in my face giving me the business, I'm like, wait, no, stop. Mm -hmm. right there i don't care if you have come to bargain not today <laughs> like, i just love how y'all are quickly so okay with eating and killing your favorite thing just so you can steal its power but don't mama's well, not my I mean, favorite oh, I, he's not my favorite i mean tony Sephiroth, yes but i have not a poster of sephiroth but you know he he does need to grow up sephiroth. like you know like you can't let one little trauma you know, make you want to kill the entire planet. Like, come on. Sephiroth is kind of a big baby. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, his, 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 his character arc is, you know. And then in Advent Children, his uh, offspring are also kind of like... Yeah, he's a just terrible, babies. terrible person. Like, you know, so... Man. I just want him... He's still iconic. Really That's quickly, nice. and you might have seen it, but I feel like you've seen it. Have you seen the uh, video of the Sephiroth cosplayer pole dancing? I may have. I don't know. It's like a, a shirtless Sephiroth <laughs> cosplayer that pole dances. It is it is a gorgeous video and people <laughs> threw their money and deservedly so. <laughs> Why is the internet so weird? <laughs> the internet is everything. Um, I don't want to eat this person just because like they keep losing. But Virgil. <laughs> like, like, he keeps losing. I don't get it. Like, it's ridiculous. But I really do like his powers and swag and all that stuff. But, like, can we at least get, like, some, you know, Virgil got some rounds, Dante got some rounds. It's just all Dante, and it don't make sense to me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I liked Virgil. Yeah. You said that, and my mind segued from Virgil to the new Bayonetta. 
Um, I don't know how that segue happens. I mean, but... <laughs> I mean, it's made by the same people. Yeah, much. but yeah. I, yeah. I like her new hairstyle. Yeah. I'm so yeah, she I think we need to give Bayonetta 3 a chance. Who said we weren't? No, there's a lot of, there's a yeah, big community I mean, out there. That's... So I'm not someone who's like anti it, but it, it's definitely concerning, like from what I saw. It's definitely a concern. It's a lot of what changes. What is the concern? It's a lot of changes. It's a it's quite a lot. So it looks more like I forget what they call it, but those battles. Uh, kaiju. Kaiju. So it looks like it's a lot more kaiju focus, and that's I, not what I'm happy. Fans <laughs> but I, I'm happy with that's that. Not I, with... As someone who plays Monster Hunter, I have no problem with that. Very very concerning for me. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics look. Eh, Mm-hmm. weird like you know as far as the development time and where is that blah mm-hmm. blah blah um and I, there's a new voice voice actress it's not terrible but you know it's a new voice actress um and then I mean this seems minuscule but it's just like something you expect with Bayonetta now but it's like when she summons the demons like her clothes are supposed to start unraveling and they didn't do that in this like it's part of the lore. Like that's we live in the age of twenty twenty one. A where, woman designed this character. Where if you, <laughs> listen, where if you sneeze, <laughs> they're sending you to jail. Like, I'm just saying, like it's it's some things that seem concerning, and so I I won't say that it's like you know cancel it right away. I really feel like you. I mean, it's an action game. You need to get it in your hands before you decide like how you feel about it but from just the looks perspective and people who've been waiting for this game for up to years since it was teased um it does not look like what we were expected as a band at a fan base mm-hmm. okay i'll give you that i understand and a new voice actress has to grow in us too i don't think she's bad it's just like it's, a new voice it's different yeah yeah what does it. she sound like? An octave lower, higher? It's just not the <laughs> swag of like the original voice actress. I don't know how else to put it. Like this, this new voice. Act. But again, like there's so many speculations that I don't even want to do on this podcast because it'd be like spoilery. But like mm-hmm. the, you know, anyone who doesn't know, there's time travel involved in Bayonetta. Mm-hmm. So like people are speculating on the story and why there could be so many differences that we're seeing right now. Okay, I'll bite that. Final question. This one's comparably, like, I'm not making anybody kill any Animal Crossing villagers this time. Thank so God. it's like, not that's hard. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're going to circle back and get back into video games. You're about to make your perfect video game. Some would say the perfect video game. And they're asking you to take three mechanics from three different games to put it in this game to make it the perfect game. What do you choose? Designing the perfect video game. Yes. And I'm taking three mechanics. You need to take three mechanics from three separate games. Three separate games. <laughs> Would you count like the soundtrack as a mechanic? <laughs> I will yeah, I will let that slide. Okay. I'll i I'll use another word besides mechanic. Uh three features. Features. Yeah. Okay. Of another game. That's you just made it more difficult. I'm sorry. Like, I'm so all. sorry. I'm not, but I am. <laughs> um, for me, I would say quick time events. Mm-hmm. Um, I won't be playing some stuff. <laughs> I'm, see, I'm seeing some There's good some ones, difference. especially if you do the bulk of, say, you're in a boss battle. Mm-hmm. Especially if you do like the I bulk played of the all of the original God of Water, so I know about quick time. Yeah, <laughs> so like at the end, if it just gives you like a little quick time event because it's like, all right, you basically killed him, just hit this button and boom, and send you into like a mini cutscene with like some cool action sequences. So yeah, so quick time events, um, definitely a banging soundtrack mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my third, I would have to say... You gotta mention say, the games, though, right? Is the... <laughs> yeah, we're not... We're, what games are you taking these things from? Okay. Oh! Uh, so, quick time events. Um, I was thinking, like, from, like we said, God of War. Mm-hmm. And also what came to my mind was uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Mm-hmm. Okay. The uh, boss yeah, battles pretty, at pretty the end. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And then for music or the uh, soundtrack, of course, near Automata. Uh, amazing soundtrack from beginning to end. Um, yeah, that's my only one for that. 
Um, and Animal Crossing. They got some KK Slaughter got some bangers. I'm telling you, KK Slaughter got some bangers. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I guess for my third mechanic or feature would be the costumes of the characters. Um, and for that, I will say, Final Fantasy takes the cake for me mm-hmm. when it comes to costume design. Um, and how they make the costumes fit in the period or the era or even the region where their characters are top notch. I love it. Nice. Okay. 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 Hmm. Well, it's my perfect game, so I'll just go with it. It is. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Production. Okay. And when I mean the production value, I'm talking about all the things I went to for is like the graphics, the sound, the music, the some of the pacing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in general, like take that skeleton mm-hmm. that with the combat of something like a Tales of game. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favorite Tales of games was actually Abyss on the PS2. Um, so I'm kind of leaning in like that area. But Tales of Arise is cool too. So, um, Tales of type combat or God of War combat. God of War 2018. Mm. Um, being in an online MMO world. Oh. <laughs> for a team. Like that. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. I'm yeah. not. Mm. Those servers would be complete ass. <laughs> <laughs> but just got the one ass. guy running the server. Only one guy can play. <laughs> Going as fast as they can. But <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I can say and what what would you title your game? Oh, well, you know, I'm gonna go with the, the production value of Final Fantasy Seven Remake. So it'll be Final Fantasy Seven Remake Integrate Exclusion. <laughs> <laughs> Third Max in fact, <laughs> like screw it. it's like the way they be navy should be oh like dream God. drop distance 2.8 <laughs> HD sleep, like, like 358 days divided by 24. It's oh the whole thing. God. Oh yeah. my gosh. Uh I guess my title would be Duke Nukem 2 because we've been waiting long enough. <laughs> <laughs> we got Duke Nukem forever and it sucked. <laughs> we didn't ask for forever. We just wanted the next one. <laughs> I never played a Duke Nukem. I, it's that ship has sailed. It's yeah. not. Yeah, it's yeah. not even worth going back to even play them. How the hell is Gungrave getting a sequel or a remake or whatever the hell? I don't know who keeps buying them. <laughs> 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 I've seen that trailer. Like it's Dude. happening. Like it's wow. Crazy. Like who asked for that? I was they more did. into Bullet Witch than this. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Be like, who's asking for this? It's those guys. Those guys over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. But this is what, Captain? <laughs> Let us know. You agree with something. Let us know. Be specific. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess now y'all have been introduced. Yeah, man. Yeah. Integrated. It's on the shirt, man. I'm Duke. Tail off I the went MSRP the wrong way in the camera sticker. because, you know, left <laughs> right is hard. Your trade awesome. and values have decreased. I don't oh, know no. You know, but I am wearing my God of War pendant. I don't know if it can be seen anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. There it is. Yee. Next. <laughs> I'm wearing it because God of War 2018 has been announced for the PC. This is a pretty big deal in terms of Sony. Um, so I'm just excited to see where it will lead. I mean, the game is like four years old now, so I don't expect sales to be amazing. But <laughs> you'll get um, your uh, PC Master Race players and um, your nostalgia crew. Yeah, the mod is going to be amazing. Someone already said they're putting Batman into the game. So <laughs> <laughs> like, it's about to be pretty epic. I'm but. playing God of War at 300 frames per second. <laughs> yeah, so. And how does that make you feel? The way was from it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, Captain. Welcome to the sh- chat. We're actually getting ready to wrap up, but thank you for being here. Hi, Captain. Yeah. But we do the podcast every Wednesday at 6 p.m. and we stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Saturday. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Well, eventually. But <laughs> things that are important to note is that this Friday, there is the 12 hour Saturday. Saturday. I am completely wrong. 
It's okay. <laughs> Saturday, we are having our 12 hour charity stream, our game thon, which will feature such thing as our Mario 3D World, uh, Returnal, Uno IRL, WarioWare, Far Cry 6. Someone's gonna eat a spicy gummy. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of this goes towards helping end youth homelessness. Yes. Uh, Champ, do you want to tell us the charity? Yes, it's Joy Baltimore. I'm sorry. I'm not <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> <laughs> we, aren't we all champs? <laughs> <laughs> Joy Baltimore, the uh, local nonprofit that all 100% of the proceeds will go to them. They host a lot of leadership, um, leadership mentoring programs, and they offer shelter to homeless youth in our hometown. So that's great. Please yeah. stop by go.rallyup.com backslash MAP game tech. Yes. And check it out. Every dollar counts. Every Absolutely. dollar counts. Yeah. Almost at a thousand. So some things that I want to just point out is inside of the chat already, if you haven't seen, is the link for our Discord. Please, please come on through, like, and, you know, join our Discord. You can see us and the family acting a fool. You can see interesting memes. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> well, no, it's on the family-friendly setting. Yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> Only but so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to make a Not Safe for Work uh, channel on that bag. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, so, yes. Dutch, join the Discord because not only can you have you know access to all that fun, but you can also learn about what we're doing and how you can get involved at the largest gaming lounge here in the state of Maryland. And so like, that's really, really big news. We're located on 322 West Baltimore Street, which is like pretty much right outside Charles Center, uh, if you don't know. Uh, so that is that important notice. Um, one more thing that I want to do is say, look, our social media, we have Twitch, Twitter, IG, and Facebook all located as map or map game tech yeah that's that's it i know it was like a lot of inflation (laughs) (laughs) it's like i went here and then it just (laughs) (laughs) but our youtube in addition to that is map technology so if you go to youtube.com backslash map technologies you can check out some of our previous recordings of the map podcast as well as any streaming things that we decided to put there as well so yeah it's pretty pretty dope uh, so yes, uh, rally up for our Game of Thorn donations and don't forget to vote for our horror game brackets. Don't man. forget to vote. In I'm women. excited that you guys voted for and Outcast and Fanatic <laughs> <too. laughs> So yes. Yeah. Um, well, you can always follow me, Triscuit Packet, at uh, twitch.tv slash Triscuit Packet. And also you can follow Duke of Games at on Twitch as, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitch it is Duke I think it underscore of games I don't remember my Twitch <laughs> we'll uh, have it for look, you in the join Discord. our Discord <laughs> right if you join our Discord you can see me acting a fool in there and then you can find me and so I am actually a baby streamer I'm just starting like that that little thing so um, support me so yeah well that's been our podcast I'm Triscuit Packet yeah and I am Duke of Games. I'm sorry, I'm reading something in the chat. Special uh, guest appearance by, uh, what is this? Champ City Mini? Champ City Mini. Oh, it's my son. I think. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Champ Mini. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed. Oh. <laughs> it's 6.30. <laughs> Yikes. We hate to be an ass. <laughs> It's like China up there. <laughs> All right, but that's been our podcast. It was great hanging with you guys today. Got anything else? I don't. Thank you for joining us. Please, please look out for our next few streams as well as our you know, future content. Bye. Peace out. Peace.